Welcome to our lecture online. You may have looked at this summation and this equation and wondered how do we know that it's true for every value for n? In the previous video we tried it for values for n equals 1 and n equals 2 and n equals 3 and even n equals 4 and it seems to work for those four values but how do we know that it's true for any value of n? Well we can do it in the following fashion. First of all we want to show that it's true for n equals 1. So when n equals 1, we can say that the summation is going to be equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1, all divided by 6, which is equal to 1 times 2 times 2 plus 1, which is 3, divided by 6, which is 6 divided by 6, which is equal to 1, and then realize when we let n equal 1, 1 squared is 1, so you know that that is indeed correct. So now let's assume that it's true for n equals n. Now all we have left to do is show that it's true for n equals n plus 1, for one more. So what we're going to do now is take the summation from i equals 1 to n plus 1, of i squared and that should therefore equal the same equation but every n replaced by n plus 1. So that should be true for n plus 1 times n plus 1 plus 1 times 2 times n plus 1 plus 1 all divided by 6. All right let's now go ahead and clean it up a little bit. So this can be written as n plus 1 times n plus 2 times 2n and 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 so plus 3 all divided by 6 and all we have to do now is to multiply all that out and see what we get. So this is equal to let's first multiply these two we get n plus 1 multiply times n times 2n which is 2n squared n times 3 which is plus 3n 2 times 2n, which is plus 4n, and 2 times 3, which is equal to 6, and the whole thing divided by 6. Now notice we have a common term in there, 3n plus 4n, which is 7n, so this can be written as n plus 1 from here, times the quantity 2n squared plus 7n plus 6, all divided by 6. And then if we multiply that together, Notice, using the distributive rule, we have n multiplied times each of those terms, so we end up with 2n cubed plus 7n squared plus 6n. So now we've multiplied n times each of the three, three terms. Now we multiply the 1 times each of the three terms, which is plus 2n squared plus 7n plus 6, all divided by 6. And finally, when we combine like terms, Notice we have 2n cubed, we have 7n squared plus 2n squared, which is plus 9n squared. We have 6n plus 7n, which is plus 13n. And we have plus 6, and the whole thing divided by 6. So this is what we have when we let n be equal to n plus 1. Now what we can say is the following. We can say that the summation from i equals 1 to n plus 1 can be written, oh, of, I forgot something, of the i squared can be written as the summation from i equals 1 to n, instead of the n plus 1 of i squared, plus the very last term, which would be n plus 1 quantity squared. And if this equals this, then we verify that it's also true for n plus 1. So let's go ahead and do that. So we already know that this initial summation is equal to what we have over there. So therefore this is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all divided by 6. And we have to add to that this quantity right here. But let's write it over the same common denominator. So it's going to be 6 times n plus 1 squared divided by 6. So now we have this over common denominator. We're going to work all that out multiply it all together and see if we get the same result as there. So this is going to be n times, we multiply these two together, so this gives us n times 2n, which is 2n squared, n times 1, which is plus n, 
1 times 2n, which is plus 2n, and 1 times 1, which is plus 1, all divided by 6, like this. And then we multiply this out, we get plus 6 times, this would be n squared plus 2n plus 1, all divided by 6. Now we still have to multiply this together, so this becomes 2n cubed plus n times n. Well, this is n plus 2n, that's 3n times n would be 3n squared. Oh, no, not, yes. We have an n plus 2n, that's 3n times n, which is 3n squared. And now we have n times 1, which is plus n. And now here we have plus 6n squared plus 12n plus 6, all divided by the same common denominator of 6. Now when we group the like terms together, this is equal to 2n cubed plus 9n squared plus n plus 12n, which is plus 13n, plus 6 all divided by 6. And notice if I take a look at this, and take a look at this, they look exactly the same, which means that I can sum this all up and go from i equals 1 to n plus 1, so replacing everything by n plus 1, all the n's by n plus 1, or I can go ahead and write the summation as the old summation plus the additional term, add those together, and we end up with the very same result, showing that it also works for the summation all the way up to n plus 1, which means it should work for any value of n, and that is how that's done.